The game is fun. Hi, I'm Riley Hopkins, CEO of Linksmith Games. I'm incredibly excited to bring to you the games that we have today, and I hope that you are as pumped as I am. Today, we're going to bring you three different things, and they are all going to be something that blows your mind and changes the way you think about gaming. But first, let's watch one of those things. I don't know why that's a but first. What makes the project unique? I think it, it's it's because it's tackling like the biggest negative trope within apocalypse fiction, and specifically, I guess, zombie apocalypse, is of like the doom and misery porn aspect of it. Tackling those are like very important in like trying to bring out what the apocalypse actually is. I mean, in a sense, it's 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 about breaking away from how society has made us feel trapped and like even like forcing us to target each other when really like there are bigger threats that can be taken if we come together. Um, one of the things that is exciting about working on our current project is the uh, the act of taking something old and kind of reimagining it for the the modern era. Something this this property uh, property. This thing was originally made in high school, so what, that's 10 years back. And getting to take these old ideas that were, to a certain degree, like outsider art, and reinterpret them to like fit in modern architecture while keeping their, their weird ideas, is it's really exciting. It's a cool thing to get to do. Something that's been on the forefront of our minds is how to work with apocalypse fiction in a way that addresses some of the baggage that it has, but addresses it in a way that is conducive to a more enjoyable experience. And a lot of that has been kind of pulling on the memories we had with this game after we had gotten over the kind of grim dark portion of it. Especially like when it was bare bones playtesting, I think our stronger influences came out from like memories we made just like when it was at its zenith um because when we were first making it like we were just playing as ourselves uh you just fortify walls stockpile food and ammo and just hold out until daybreak um and it was like very lonely and isolationist and bleak i guess even deeper than that you could say it's like a subconscious expression of our anxieties about like graduating school and stuff um and just like trying to figure out how we would hold on to each other and stay connected. Um, and it became like us against the world, in a sense. <laughs> this game was made by the three of us in high school. And so it has a lot of ideas that are unrelated to kind of advancements in tabletop games. And so it's really fun to get to bring those out and focus on them and shine a light on them now as adults. The two of us that get, are working on this project are coming up with some real cool shit. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, it's what these later memories then are what informs like, our takes on it. Um, it informed our, you know, our visual design of it. Um, it's supposed to feel like it can't be horror printed out in somebody's garage, or just just something really rough and colorful and like patched together with tape and tacks. And like, it's supposed to have that like communal, maybe even artistic, but just like raw and passionate growth for each other in the face of like existential dread and laughing at it. And I think. That's mostly what we're trying to foster with this game. Zombie Survivalist 2nd Edition is a campy game about having fun with your friends, about laughing in the face of danger, and 
about building something that will foster these kind of experiences in others. It is about reclaiming the things that make you afraid and turning them into jokes while also having just the sickest time in the world with your friends. ZS2E should be out by winter of 2020. Wow, that was incredible. I know you're as excited for Zombie Survival's second edition as I am, but first, we have something even more exciting to show you. Something that we haven't been able to talk about to the public. So I hope that you are pumped for this next reveal. This is Finn, who was made by Noel and Molly hey, in their I'm stream Logan, last week. They are the Paladins. My name is Nico, and I will my be playing Theo the character Hi, my name is and and That's me. I'm portraying Marsh from Fire. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. And I'm going to do everything in my power to shoehorn it in. Rascool the Mighty. I'm playing Old Man John. And I'm portraying Chris Angel Mind Free. I will be playing Regina. Hello, my name is Lindsay. My name is Dan Silva, and I will be playing Cosmic Curious. Cleo and Eric. Also known as Erio. New link moves, updated GM tools, new playbooks how to play the game in specific stories. Interstitial, our worlds connected. Wow. It's incredible to see from Interstitial, our worlds connected. And I hope that you are as pumped as I am to see what happens with that as we step into the future. But. Right now, we are about to wrap up for today. We have one more thing, and I hope that it's as exciting to you as it is to me. Thanks for joining us here at Linksmith Games today.